Uh, t they start playing. Okay, let's get get out of this. Okay. Uh, let's start the timer. Control start. Change the scene. Okay, let's go. All right, back to the game. Here we go. First first match underway between Eric Hansen and Andrew Tang. Let's see what we get. Um, looks like a small advantage for for Andrew with the Great Knight. Small, small advantage though. Small advantage. Andrew should be a massive favorite, but I'm not sure he is a massive favorite. They said a mean forfeited. That's why Bornig isn't playing. <laughs> they said a mean forfeits. Wow. Okay, so I guess we're gonna watch this match then. Um, yeah, Andrew's up a pawn here. I, I mean, this is the first game of the match. First game. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay, so maybe rookie eight takes takes. Way. Is Eric sitting on the floor? I guess actually there's only um there's there's only there's only one match, so okay, let's 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 pull it up then. Let's pull it up. There's only one match to watch, so actually I can put the cams on then, okay? Let me change the scene. Um uh, what's the, what's the scene that I was looking for? This is the right one. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, let's, let's change the scene then. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, this should be good. Good. Um, let me make the board a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's go. Let's let's watch the match. All right, you guys. So here we go. Um, Eric Hansen's 2600 feet. Yes, he is. Uh, Eric's got alcohol flush on his face. I mean, Eric was probably out with the boys. He was probably drinking hardcore with Magnus last night. Um, who cares? Not me. So let's see. Okay. looks pretty normal. Um, Eric down one zero, but he's got a decent position, but Andrew's probably going to outskill him on the clock here. Yeah, Andrew's probably gonna outskill him on the clock, even though Eric actually no, Eric's got an extra pawn at A A3. Knight D6, of course. Knight D6. No, he goes rook B7. Okay, knight D2. Knight D2. Okay, now he uh knight D2. Rook B5, GG. King E2 is a good Oh, King E2 is an all-star move from uh from Eric. All-star move. He should win this, but the, I'm worried about the time. Andrew, as we know, is the god of time. Yeah, Andrew's just a god of time. Yeah, rough. Yeah, you get into the massive scrambles with like two, three, four seconds. Andrew's going to eat your lunch every day of the week. Um, I mean, he's just going to eat your lunch. Doesn't matter whether you're me, Daniel, Magus, whomever. He's going to eat your lunch. Um, Andrew looks bored. Well, I mean, I'm sure Andrew's not happy to be in the loser's bracket. <laughs> Why is Eric standing up? Oh, did Eric's cam die? Eric? <laughs> no cam. <laughs> um, no cam, boys. No cam. We get to watch Andrew. Yes, Mag is going to take over, right? Time for Magus to take over. Yeah. Okay, I have the timer, sure. Um, yeah. Um, 
Where did I put the timer? Yeah. I'm gonna put the timer somewhere. I'll put it down, down here maybe. Or I'll put it just inside my cam. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Imagine they just pull up your stream and replace Eric's cam with you watching. That'd be pretty funny. By the way, Magus is taking over and Magus is going to win this game, right? Magus is going to win this game. Let's go, Magnus. Come on. FE3, Bishop B5. Magnus wins here. Mag See, Eric's cam goes off and he wins the game. So sus. So sus. Unacceptable. Watch Eric magically win the next like five games out of nowhere. So sus. Come on, we got to get that cam back or else, you know, we, we know what's going to happen. He's on cam, just adjust. Oh, he is back on cam. You're right. Oh, they, they, they have another setup too. Ooh, sneaky. Sneaky, they have another setup. Or, oh, no, he is back on cam. Okay. By the way, why is Eric standing up? Why is Eric standing up? <laughs> he never has a, he never had a chair. Now, Eric is up uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Up two pawns here, looking really good. Maybe just h3. Okay, let's see four. Maybe h3, g3, both playable. Maybe takes, queen d5, just take and drop back, maybe. I would just take and drop back. Take the pawn. Trading King G2 and, and then D5. Andrew should lose this game. Um, Knight E3, good move. Knight G4, good move. Uh, Eric's got to speed up here. Eric is winning, but he needs to move faster. Wow. Matt is under the camera helping Eric. Yeah. Two out of two. Two out of four. Are we in for a big upset? Yeah, Eric is on fire suddenly. <laughs> but man, standing up must be so uncomfortable. Eric doesn't look happy at all. Like stand having to stand up and play is really rough. Yeah, really rough. Yeah, pretty rough. It feels like Eric is staring into my soul totally. 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 Mag is practicing for his match, exactly. Mm. Maybe rook eight, rook eight, eight, rook eight, three. Mm hmm. Okay, now it's getting tricky, though. Takes. There's about five. Wait, whoa. Rook at five and rook a five. Me, um, no, that's not right. No, I'm eating some apples. Eric does look like he had a had a long night though. That that is for sure. Eric looks like he had a, he had a long night.
So, if Eric beats Tang, I'll laugh my something off. Yeah. Eric is talking. I assume he's talking to himself, but I don't know. Maybe, 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 um, maybe, uh, Amon. Is Amon there? Amon must be there too, right? There's other people in his room this ridiculous. Well, I mean, this is Bullet, and Bullet, you can't. I mean, Bullet, you can't cheat. Yeah. Oh, Amon isn't there? Oh, it's just Eric? Okay. Rook C2, free juicer. Free juicer. Oh, no, then F7. No, maybe F7 hangs on. Hmm. But this is a loser's bracket, yes. Seems like he was talking to somebody. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, a bullet is borderline impossible. Hungover Eric is better than normal Eric? Yeah. Jossman was streaming, but Jossman's not playing. Jossman's not playing for a bit. He's playing Arena Kings or something. Queen d3. Oh, good move. Ah, uh, Bishop b3. Only move. Bishop b3. Only move. He finds it. TikTok. Knight g3. Good move. Uh, there should be a trick here. E. Um. Knight of five. Oh no, knight of five. No, okay, now he loses. Yeah, my game starts at two thirty. Yeah, who knocked Andrew and loser back? He lost to Dania. Um, okay, four two. Yeah, I mean, there's just no, there's no way because I'll tell you the only way you could cheat in bulls if like you knew exactly when a bad move happened, like a serious blunder that like changes it to like uh from a decent position to like plus four, where it's like a queen blunder or rook equivalent blunder. Like that's the only way you could. Um. So that's the only way that you could do it. And, and, and in order to do that, it'd be too obvious. Because there's not even for me, I even a bullet, I can't even recognize half the time. Half the time, I can't even recognize what the absolute blunder is either. So there's just no way, because you have to do it for five seconds. And every single time would be a critical moment. Yeah, it's just not possible. If you're botting, I guess maybe, but. Magnus will win today. I don't know, it's going to be a tough match. I mean, I think Oliver is a small favorite. I think for Magnus... We'll see if my words are prophetic, but I think for both Magnus and myself, we're both very fortunate that it's a 45 game, 45 minute match. I think if we were playing a 30 minute match, it would be much, much closer. I think in Magnus' case, I think he'd be a serious underdog. In a 45 minute, I think that he's um, he's got better chances than a 30 minutes. Uh, no, I'm going to be streaming my match as always, you guys. I don't care. Even if I play worse, I don't, I don't care. I'm a streamer. I stream. It's what I do. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rook H7 is Rook, Rook H7. Dirty, dirty, dirty checkmate incoming here on the H file. Yeah, dirty. Okay, 5 2. Andrew's starting to run it up a little bit here. Kiki Car is more chance than Twitchy Car. I don't think it really matters which, which one I'm playing on, but I, I think what I would say is that. Uh, in general, I feel like I, I, I mean, I have good chance either way, but I feel like in 30 minutes, there's much more variety. That's what I feel like. So, I don't know. That's just my personal take. So, anyway, let's keep going. Again, a big shout out to the 6,000 plus of you guys who are watching on this very fine uh, ooh, um, Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. Yeah, I, I said Monday earlier, but Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. Eric has no expression. To me, no expression from Eric means that very clearly Eric is... Uh, Eric's a little bit zoned out here. He probably was out partying with the boys last night. He's out partying. He's probably getting ready to party again tonight. Anybody who's been in Barcelona before, like myself, you know that in Spain, especially in Barcelona, there is a knight takes f7, so he takes with a bishop. Um, that uh, that basically, um, ooh, knight d7, nice move. That that in that uh, knight f6, there's some battery, right? There's a battery here. Queen d3. There's a queen d3 battery and a right triangle in here. Um, like basically everybody goes and chills and then you, you basically you, you 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 go you work from like nine maybe nine o'clock to one o'clock um you go work from like nine 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 a.m to one p.m then you go take your siesta for a couple of hours you just chill for the rest of the day and then around like six seven o'clock you start getting ready and you go out to party for the rest of the night um that's what you do uh eric should have taken the pawn on e6 big mistake not to because now he's get, he might get mated here yeah yeah 6k is impressive i thought you would be a 2k we've 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 had 12k plus the last two days uh at our peaks we've had 12,000 plus viewers so 
Um, it's been it's been pretty rad. Queen A4 is checkmate, right? Or no, it's Queen A5 to save the game. But Eric has no time here. Yeah, he's gonna lose to the time situation. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday we had 12,000 plus, so it was pretty pretty hype. Very very hype. Um, dude said 2K Andy. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm just very very happy. You know the people you bring you bring the content and Eric's gonna lose. Yeah. I mean, if you, br if you bring the content, uh, people will watch eventually. That's the bottom line. Um, the guy is prepped to play the Alakai with Knight's 5 against you. Please play D4 instead of Knight F3 and smoke him. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. That Appreciate it. Yeah, more viewers will tune in later. But again, I don't really care, you guys. Uh, we're just doing what we can. And uh, I'm very, very glad that people enjoy the content. That's all you can do. And, um, you know, that's the thing. People get so bent out of shape over numbers. You worry about this or that. You know, if I make the same content I made on Twitch, eventually everybody will start watching my stream. Whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on Kick, doesn't matter. So, yeah. Eric's sitting on the floor again. Yes, he is. he's sitting on the floor again. Yeah. Am I prepped for the London? Uh, I've done a little bit of work. Not a lot. Because I just chill. Yeah. Ninety-seven. Yeah. Eric is tilted by losing on time. I mean, Eric's a great player. I mean, the big problem Eric has, yeah, when he gets a long time, bad things happen. I don't understand why viewers have loyalty to certain platforms about the content. Well, I think at the end of the day, there's a lot of negativity around Kick. Uh, a lot of people don't, under when you don't understand what they're doing, and, and a lot of people are are saying certain things about, about how it is. Queen F6 is crushing, by the way. Yeah, Knight F5 is coming up. Oh, Knight E8 might have been better. I don't know, G6? G6, E6, and you're getting crushed. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think what I would say is that, you know, people, you, you see see what some of these big streamers have been saying. A lot of this negativity around kicks, certainly. And I don't I don't I don't gamble. I just play I just play chess. That's all I do. I do exactly what I did on Twitch. And so all these people who are out there saying things like Hassan specifically, who's out there saying things like, oh, it's just, you know, it's, it's to get people to go to gambling. Like nothing in, nothing with my stream has anything to do with gambling. And so it, it can be really annoying. And I, I understand why like XQC was starting to get frustrated when he heard heard those same things being said. It's like I literally know what my deal with kick is and there's literally nothing about gambling and then you see these people like Hassan who has no idea about anybody's contract just spouting off a bunch of bunch of crap um that like you know there's some kind of like it's obviously to get people to go to gambling and it's just like it's it's very annoying sometimes to hear that so yeah and also of course the, the great part is on Twitch gambling is completely fine too uh, it's just some offshore offshore sites that got banned um and that's it Okay, knight f4, queen d1 are the two moves, but I think Eric's in trouble again here. He's down five. Um, that's what's going on. Yeah. I'm worried about the center. E3. Uh, there's queen b. No, but then there's bishop d5. So e3 is a good move then. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, that, that's the bottom line is that, yeah, when you hear about that stuff, especially when the people, people like Hassan say that, it's like literally, the, gambling is not banned on Twitch. Anybody can gamble if they want to. It's just a couple of specific offshore sites that are banned. That's it. That are de that are unregulated. And that's it. That's it. Nothing more to it. But he frames it with the narrative that that's not the case. That somehow gambling like it doesn't happen on Twitch when Twitch actively is promoting it to some degree. Yeah. So, all right, let's see. Um, Eric is down five. He's got a win. Thank you to Moogie Poop for the subscription. Thank you so much. Um, and Knight F6, good move. Rook C4, yeah. I mean, this is over. Andrew's going to win this, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Bishop E6 and King G5 or so. There's going to be some trick here. Not precise from Andrew, actually. But Andrew, uh, Eric could win. Come on, Eric, go. Go, Rook G1, go. Go, go, go. Check. Go. Go. 95. Go. Takes. Make the draw. Make the draw. Make the draw, Eric. And Eric loses, and now Eric's going to lose the match. 10, 10, 10, 50 left. Yeah. I'll watch you guys stream even on a government platform. If I went to a government platform, like, I, I mean, yeah. Eric doesn't look happy. Do you see Eric? He's like, I think Eric's using a... What's that? That looks like a corded mouse. Wait, I think Eric's mouse was co corded. That looked like a corded mouse. Why is Eric playing bullet with a corded mouse? Cordless is the way to go. Didn't he literally just, it wasn't there just a cord there? That, that looked like a mouse that wasn't cordless. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that didn't look great. Didn't look great. 
I think it's fair to say Eric is not playing comfort. That's obviously true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cordless, cordless or wireless, whatever you say, but yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying quarter mouse can't be faster, but you need the space to move. Like you need the space to move the mouse around. Like normally I've got my big mouse pad here and it's like, I move it, move it. You gotta have the space so that you can, you can use the torque and move the mouse all around. You need to be able to move the mouse like far right, far left. I mean, you need the space. Um, yeah. Yeah. Excuses for Eric. He's just not that good at bullet. No, I mean, obviously, but yeah. Yeah. Now we want now now we wonder why Ma why he cars mouse troubles yeah oh uh, actually you know a good thing that I've seen is um is yeah so a lot of people have spoken about Wesley So and how Wesley So he uses a um he makes his board really tiny so I, I'll give you an example I'll make the, I'll zoom the board back out but it's like he takes the board and Wesley will play like with a board like this small now personally for me the notion of playing with a board that this small I I used to do it years ago but it makes no difference I actually like the big board better the small board doesn't do it for me at all so. That's the bottom line. Um, as far as I'm concerned, at least. So yeah, Wesley so does that. Apparently he takes a big screen. He just makes the board as tiny as possible to play on. I don't know how he does it. Cause like in rapid and rapid in particular, it's like, I feel like you need to be able to see the board to do calculation. I mean, I guess there's less space to cover with a, with there's the board is so much smaller, less space, but nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the score? It's it's nine two. Has Andrew won seven? In, I think Andrew's won seven in a row. Botez is the exact same. Wow. Okay, that's Botez. Uh, Andrew's gonna lose a game here. Yeah. Um, or is he? Takes takes. Queen a three is winning. Yeah. This is a mistake from Eric. Eric about to lose an eighth game in a row. Yeah. Rook c one obviously trade the rooks and start pushing the p. I mean, he's pushing the P down the board. This is really scary for, um, really scary for Eric. Yeah. I don't know. For me though, I can't do it. I, I can't. I mean, I, I don't know how they do it, honestly. Eric, Eric starting to talk to himself again. Eric starting to talk to himself as you saw. He doesn't look happy. The error score was 2-2 and he's lost seven games in a row. Yeah. Magus laughing in another room. I, I mean, Magus is there too, right? Is he, he's talking to Magus off camera? I don't think so. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew is, of course, the favorite in the match. Um, whether he should be winning by the score, who knows? No, we don't play at the same time, which is actually very good. Because that means people can watch the matches, you guys. Um, so I play against... Uh, I play at 2.30. Magnus plays at 1.50. So, um, yeah. Magnus, Magnus plays at 1.50. I play at 2.30. 2 so we will get maximum content to, to cover, for sure. But I think Arjun would have beaten Eric. I think Eric would have won, but I think it would have been a very close match. I think... I think Eric, Magnus was there yesterday, not today. Wait, what do you mean? Magnus isn't there today? But then where is Magnus? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eric down eight games. Is Andrew going to get the big adoption? I think he is. Yeah. E Eric going to lose a ninth game in a row here. I think. Yeah. Can Nihal beat Andrew? I think Nihal is better than Andrew, actually. I, I, it's a big tragedy that Nihal is not playing in the Bullet Chess Championship. Nihal was apparently invited, but he declined. He declined to play in the Bullet Championship. I don't know if he has school or what's going on, but Nihal was invited, but he's not playing. I think Nihal would have beaten Andrew. I think Nihal, Nihal actually... I, I haven't played him enough to have an idea, but I think he's up there with the four of us. 
Artemiev is terrible in one. Oh, Artemiev in one plus one is extremely good. In one plus one, Artemiev is amazing. But I think in one zero, he's not as good. In one plus one, Artemiev is a very, 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 very dangerous player. Very dangerous player to play against. Um, whenever there's the four of us means who's in. It means me, Dania, um, Ali Reza, and Magnus. I think the four of us are way ahead of everybody else objectively. So, so that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. Okay, nine in a row. Let's see if Eric can, can avoid an adoption here. Yeah, Nihal wanted to date some girls. You guys are making the joke about Nihal. I, I assume he's busy with school. Uh, girls don't take up all, all of your time. Um, so stop being weird. Night A3. Oh, Andrew misses night A3. Yeah. Andrew kind of upset that you saw him shake his head a little bit, but he has the match under under lock and key. Um, yeah. Uh, ten in a row is adoption. If you lose ten games in a row is adoption. The irony, of course, is that the the term adoption comes from the chess bras. They came up with the two key phrases. If you lose five in a row, it's called a mixed option. If you lose ten games in a row, it's called an adoption. Um, so those are both things that came out of the chess bra. Um, chess bra community of course the, the as famous as those are they will always remain secondary to um the most legendary thing to ever come out of the chess bra channel which of course was anal beads um which then of course elon Musk talked about and everyone ran with so um chess bras will last forever thanks to whoever whoever mentioned that in their chat um which then led to elon Musk's tweets and everything else like uh yeah the, the chess bras will be immortalized for that <laughs> Yeah, the chess bras will be immortalized forever because of that. <laughs> GH3 is winning. Why didn't he take? Hmm, strange. Yeah. Oh, now you... Oh, no, Eric. No. No, Eric. No. <laughs> yeah. And now Eric got cheese in the opening. He got cheese. Night C7, Knight A8. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Or Bishop's, is Bishop C7 even as good? It is. Oh, no. Oh, no. 11 in a row. Yeah. No, he can't get double adoption because there, uh, there are only two minutes left in the match. I did a double adoption, I didn't realize. But I went 20 in a row against... Um, against uh, Amino Ohanian earlier. So yeah, it was 2-2. Two, two. It's it's similar to my match. My match against Amino Ohanian was one and a half, one and a half. And then it ended 22 and a half to one and a half. So I went 21 games in a row. I, I did the double adoption against uh, Ohanian. But there's not enough time for Andrew to get the double adoption here. So Andrew's poker face gets me every time. Yeah, he doesn't look very uh, emotional. I don't think Andrew generally is. Yeah. I hope they ban 30 seconds. I mean, you can't ban it, but I think 30 seconds is very different than Bullet. I, for a long time, I've said that I think they should actually, um, they should have a separate category for Hyper Bullet and separate it from Bullet. Like anything, th 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever it is, that should be its own category. Andrew is bored. I mean, he's he, he's had the match won for the last 10 minutes. So, um, I mean, that, that's why he's bored. I would be bored too. Soothes the soul. I've tried Hyper Bowl with 30 seconds. I played Andrew actually who split 10 games, five, five, like maybe three years ago, but I don't um I don't really play uh I don't really play hyper anymore. Oh, Lee just has separated for Ultra Bullet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew does have reactions, but not not frequently. And this match really hasn't been close, so I'm not surprised. He's just very chill. Uh, late title Tuesday. Yes, I did win title Tuesday yesterday. That is correct. Rock and roll. Have I won a Stockfish level eight? I haven't done it. Yeah, the, the, it's 40 seconds and counting. The match is about to end, so I'll just reset the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew does stream sometimes, not frequently anymore, but sometimes, yeah. So, 
All right. So big win for Andrew. He's going to win this match. Next matches are starting pretty soon. Let's see what we have. Oh, let me pull it up again. Um, next set of matches start at 12.50. So, it's, oh, it's very soon, actually. Next set of matches are Minlay versus David Pravian and Jocelyn versus Dennis Lazvik. Those matches, I think, are both going to be a lot closer, by the way. I think both of those matches are going to be really, really tight. Uh, Minlay versus Pravian is going to be a barn burner. I mean, Pravian did put up a fight for a little bit against... Um, against uh, uh against uh, daniel andrew said that you have his dream life i mean yeah but andrew's got a pretty good life let's let's be honest he's got a pretty good i mean he, he works at doesn't he work at susquehanna or sig or one of those one of those uh, high-end funds i mean andrew if he does if he does things right and he's smart he's gonna make like probably close to a million bucks a year in, in a couple of years assuming the market doesn't go to go to chet Okay, here we go. Matches have started. Let me start the clock. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna watch Minlay first. Um and we can of course show the other one as well. Pull this up. Oh, now they're doing um is this a split screen? This is a split screen. So let me um let me uh let, let me let me adjust this. Because they're they're doing a split screen. So let me adjust the cam. So this is one scene. I'm gonna have to adjust this, so bear with me, you guys, um, while I do this. They're, they're doing the split screen right now. Okay, that, this is scene one. Um, let me pull this out just a little bit. This is scene one. Let me um, uh, let me just back in. Uh, let me see. Control V. There we go. This will be scene two. Let me adjust this scene because they're doing it. They're doing a dual screen. So let, let me adjust this, you guys. Pull this to scene two. Um, here we go. Yeah. All right. And of course, the chessboard is completely off as well. So let me pull the chessboard down here. Okay. And let me move this over here. Good. And let me make the chat a little bit bigger as well. There we go. Perfect. All right. So, uh, yeah, this, this is what we'll, this is what we'll start with. Cause they're doing the two, two, they're doing the split screen right now. So it is what it is. Um, all right. So yeah, we're, we're, what is this game? Pravian is crushing min late. Like I said, I think this is the match that's likely to be close. Knight G6, Knight F4, Knight F4, GG, Knight E2, Queen E4, F5. F5 was winning. F5? He missed F5. F5 was GG. Why not? Yeah. Match clock though. Oh, do I not have a clock? Okay, one second. Let me copy over the timer. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I didn't have the clock on the second one. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, both players. Yeah, look at both players are doing something. One's doing this, one's doing this. Both of them are both of them are playing with something on their face. This is actually gonna be pretty funny. So Pravin wins game one. Big win for Pravin. Big big win. Yeah. Yeah, big win. Yeah, they're both twirling hair, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, now we are watching the Jossman. Let me pull this up. Uh, let, me, let me pull up Jossman as well. Um, let's watch his game too. Oh, shoot. Did I just mess up the scene by clicking watch? Oh, great. Now Chess.com is going to crash. I mean, one second. Oh, great. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, let me see. I still have it. We've got both. Okay. L let me just pull it up like this. Uh, all players. Um, let's follow. Let's follow them both. Uh, Jospam, more follow, and then players of uh, Pravian. Pravian is where, um, Minlay, there he is. More follow. There we go. All right. So let, let's take a look at this game. Um, currently the first game was a draw in this match between... Wait, what? Huh? Let me refresh the page. Something, something weird is going on. Chess.com's acting weird. Wait, okay, here we go. Okay, we got D5 here. Okay, it looks like Jossum should be, should be, Jossum at C7, no? Wasn't there C7 to win? Maybe not. 
EF3, King H3. Um, Queen D7, good move by Jose. Maybe H3, Bishop G4. But I, th I think Jose is going to win. Wrong match. Oh, that's right. Wrong match. Okay, let's watch the other one. See what's happening here. Okay, Minlay is... Uh, Game number two, Minlay is apparently losing if White plays G7. But he plays Rook D4. Knights. Oh, there's no Knight C3. Uh, check. F4. <gasps> oh, Minlay loses again. Oh, no. Minlay loses the second game. It's down 2 0. Minlay put up a huge fight against Magus, and now he's down 2 0 to start this match. Okay. Yeah, that's very rough. Like I said, Provian, very dangerous. Very dangerous player. He hangs H6. Surprising for Provian after two wins that he gets a little bit careless in the opening here. Maybe a little bit too excited. My match is starting at 240, I believe. 230 or 240, I'm not sure which one. But yeah, now Minlay can... Minlay, this is a very critical moment here. He needs to play a good game. Um, Provian is trying to go rook h8. I actually really like Provian's play. Queen e4, important move to try and trade the queens and release the pressure. D4 would be a good move. Or D4, f5, maybe. Um, gotta go D4 somewhere. You gotta open this up here. Provian kind of tilting this game. Yeah, Provian just tilting this game away, which I'm very confused by. After two good games to, to mess it up, it's just, it's a little bit odd. Oh, wait, did they change the scene? They did, right? Wait, is there another? There's another one? Okay. Yeah, there, there's this scene, right? I don't know which scene they're on. Th this, is, this is the right one, right? Yeah, this looks correct. They're, they're, get, they're, getting, they're getting a little bit tricky with their scenes. So let me, let me figure this out. Okay. Let me make the board a little bit smaller as always. Sorry about this, you guys. Go. Go. Um, add a little bit bigger. There we go. And then, of course, I should copy over this timer as well. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're doing it to grief me. Yeah. Making it difficult. Okay, so what's going on? So Minlay is... It's even material. Should be a draw with correct play. Um... I'd probably rather be... I would have preferred to be white until queen d5. Now, now I think it's... It's on the edge here. It's on the edge. It's on the edge. Um, I would say that I'd rather probably prefer to be white. Not to sound weird or anything. But king g2. Rook a4. Rook a8. Try to run the king up. a4, a5. He's going to try to sneak the king in behind the pawn. Yeah, king d4. Good move. Maybe you run the king up here. Uh, maybe f4, g4. Because black can never move the king because there's always rook c8. Uh, Provian is an annoying, anta oh, a annoying antagonist in the online chess world. I hope this is our world champion. What? Qua? Huh? Huh? He's our an antagonist in the chess world. I hope this is our world champion material. What? What are you even smoking, bro? Check. Probably just barely wins on time. 3-1. 3-1 in this match. It's getting scary here. Getting scary so far. The other match they're not showing, which I assume means that Jose is up by a big margin already. Maybe not. Okay, now they went back to split screen. There we go. So here we, here we are. We're now ready and set up. Okay, so the other match is currently 2-1 in favor of Lazavik. He's up 2-1. Yeah, Lazavik is up 2-1. But th this match is very tricky. Pro Provian's underrated. I thought Provian had a chance to 
caused Dan some some uh, some trouble. And he did, I think, at the start of that match, actually hold up pretty well in the first like three to four games before Dan just started running away with it. But Provin is definitely a little bit dangerous. Definitely someone who's dangerous for sure. Uh, Jose's match. Oh no, Jose is now up two and a half, one and a half. They had the score wrong. Sorry, they, they had the score wrong on the official broadcast. My bad. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, two and a half, one and a half. Hey, E4, Knight G5, good move. Knight C5, eat the juicer, maybe. Why is this winning? Oh, wait. Uno, dos. Wait. One, two, three, one, two. Wait. Minlay is just up a horse. Minlay has an extra horse. Yeah. Yeah, Queen A2. Min Minlay has an extra horse. Yeah, I mean, if I have an extra horse, that's worth a lot in real life. Yeah, Queen A7 probably. Just eat the juicer. A G4 probably is going to go Rookie 3, right? Rookie 3 to go for this. Yeah, Rookie 3, GG, why not? Rookie 8, also good enough. Multiple checkmates here. Just checking, mate. Okay, 1954, 3 2. Yeah, it's 3 2. Minlay playing this uh, Scandinavian center counter opening every time he plays again. He played this against. Um, he played this against. Uh, uh, oh, they changed the scene. They just changed their scene. So they're showing the other match. I don't care. We're watching this one right now. Um, the other one is two and a half, one and a half. Um, I don't know if Lazovic won or why they're showing. Let me take a look. Uh, both cams appear to be frozen or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, but both matches are pretty balanced right now. They're they're all very balanced. Um, probably in trouble again. Minley starting to fight back. By the way, is it tournament for men only? No, but no women qualified. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be that's two and a half, two and a half. Okay, so. Okay, this one's looking to be 3-3 also, by the way. Scandinavian players are immature. I don't know why you would say Scandinavian players are immature. That's just weird. Um, I think Minlay's going to lose this, though. There's Rook C6. Rook A8 only move B5. Yeah, King's 4 and B5, maybe. I mean, you got to go B5 at some point. He's trying to run the... What's he gonna... He's got to go B5 somewhere. I mean, B5 at some point. He wasted five moves before going B5. Um, yeah, a six, of course, this King C four. Blunder, but not over, not GG. Rook C five, maybe is Rook C five winning? Uh, King B five, King B six. I mean, this is very scary. King B six. Probably going to be a draw here, I'm guessing. Yeah, this this should be a draw. I think this will be a draw. A7. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a draw. Yeah. Okay. Three and a half, two and a half. Still, still very, very close. Still very, very close. This match close. Jose's match is two and a half, two and a half. All the matches are very close. Yeah. So, all right, all right, let's see. Do I hang out with any of the top chess players on a normal basis? Not really. None of us really do because we all hang out at the chess tournaments. So, um, not really. I mean, I, I think some people, there are a couple of people who are close, but in general, not not really. I mean, and nobody really does because we're all, at the end of the day, we're all competitors. It's a very small world of people who, who make a living playing chess. Okay, queen d4 and c4, obviously, one, two. Minlay think, whoa. It was queen c2. Yeah, I don't know why they're not showing it right now. They're not showing the other cams, but wait, Minlay didn't Minlay didn't find Queen D4. What the heck? Yeah, yeah. You know it's a good match when he car rarely has to suggest moves. That's also true. Yeah. Jose's starting to beat Bob. I assume that means Jose won won a game. Probably and probably gonna win this game, by the way. Probably and probably gonna win this this game. I would not have traded there, by the way, but okay. 
Yeah, Providence should win this game. Jaws with a three and a half, two and a half. I, I don't know what they're showing. Okay, there we go. Finally, the cams are back. Okay. Um. Yeah, just king e8. I mean, you can just walk over here. Yeah. King d8, and then the king has to yield, and it's an easy win. Okay, Pravian up by two on Minlay. Minlay might get eliminated here. He's down two, 15 minutes left. Still quite a quite a ways to go, but not looking good. Not looking good for uh, not looking good for uh, for Minlay. Did I ever adopt him? Bullet, I think I I think I actually have, but I I don't remember. I think I did it one time, but it's it's been a long time. No, Magus plays at 150. I play at 250. So I think Magus matches next up on the agenda, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll double check. Let me, let me double check. Um, but I think so. I think, uh, let, let me see. Uh, after this, yes, next match will be at uh, 140. 140, sorry. It'll be Magnus versus Ali Reza Perugia, the big matchup. Yeah, 69,000 followers on kick. Again, big shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Those of you guys who are coming over from Twitch, I hope you're enjoying the ad free experience here on kick. There are currently zero ads, no ads in the middle of the games, no ads, nothing to disturb you from enjoying the quality content that I bring you. So I hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the quality content. Um, Minlay in a lot of trouble here. He's down a rook. He's probably going to lose this game. He has to find some swindle here um yeah no ads so even if you can't subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that follow button um and you will get notifications when we're live and everything else so make sure you do hit that follow button how has been laid down because Peravian is a very good player I think Minlay might be underestimating how good Peravian is yeah I think there's a good chance Minlay is underestimating Peravian maybe f4 bishop d4 only move Oh no, King C2. Oh, Minlay got tricked. King D3. Minlay about to be down three point three games. Rook A7 is just GG, or it was. Now it's not, but it, it was. Yeah. Yes, Minlay down three. We're getting into the danger zone for Minlay here. He's got to find a way to win this game here. He's got to find a way to win here, or else he's going to lose. Yeah, where well, this is really the danger zone here for um for Minlay. Yeah, very very dangerous now. Mhm. Mm but he's got a dream position here. I would not have done that cuz now it's rook C Bishop C4 and Bishop E2. Uh Minlay got tricked again. He just got tricked again. Yeah. Uh, Carlson 30, Ali Reza 70. I would say the odds in that match in a 45 minute make it much closer to like 60, 30, 60, 60, 40. If it was 30 minutes, I think Ali Reza is a huge favorite, like maybe like 75, 80%. Um, but with the extra 15 minutes, I think Magus has, has much better chances. Just like I think my chances are objectively better with the extra 15 minutes too. So we'll see if I'm right or I'm wrong on that, but that's just my general takeaway. Yeah, there's a timer as well. So there are 12 minutes left in these matches. I would say I would say I'm 70-30. That's what I would say. I would say if it was if it was pure pure uh, 30 minutes, I'd be like two to one, 66-33. I think with 45 minutes, that ups my odds to about 70-30. That's what I would say percentage-wise. Okay, Minlay gonna lose again. I think this is GG. Yeah, he's gotta somehow find a miracle save. Okay, C7. Yeah, Minlay needs to save. Minlay, if he can save this, he has chances. Minlay might save this game. Okay, this is not. This is okay. Minlay, Minlay has chances. If he lost this game, I think the match was gone. But now he's still back in it. He's up ten seconds too. He's got to win this game. Rook six. Okay, now I think Minlay is going to win this game now. Yes, Minlay gets the win. Oh, huge choke by Peravian. Huge choke. And now it's back to a two-point game. 
Two point game, 11 minutes left. Yeah. I played a bunch of bullet earlier against Jospin, so yeah. Oh, uh, the other match, by the way, Jose Martinez, he's up, he's up five and a half, three and a half against Lazovic. So both matches have the exact same score. C4, F5. Oh, no. Minlay just blundered. Now the Knight's overloaded. Ah, the Knight's overloaded here. Yeah, Jaws was doing just fine. Yeah. Um. Bishop G5 or Queen G7. Both are good. Apparently, that's a blunder. Oh, because I was Rook H2 and Knight G4. Oh. Oh, the swung back the other way. It's going to be a one-game lead. Oh, it's going to be a one game. It's going to be one game. The counter blunder. Yeah, now it's going to be... Yeah, Rook H2, of course. Oof. Rook G1 only move. Bishop G4 and then G3, Bishop F3 wins. Yeah, this match is very much back in back in the air. The other match is six and a half, three and a half, so it's probably over. Jose's up by three with uh with like nine minutes left, so Jose probably will win. Although, Pravi is starting to put up a lot of resistance suddenly. Yeah, like, Rook D2? Wait, suddenly Pravi is very much in the game. Wait, what's going on? Wait, Pravi has chances here. Oh, but he hangs the bishop and he loses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just all, all, the, all of them pre-moves. Yeah. Yeah, it's a one point lead here. The other match is six and a half, three and a half. So th this is the match to watch all the way. Let's see. Big game here. Minlay can tie it up. He's won two in a row. Probably, and it feels like tilting a little bit here. And probably does not have a great position. Also much easier for white to play. Easy play for Minlay. Like h3, knight d2, bishop f3. 30 minute match in the loser's bracket. Exactly, yeah. Yep. Jossman playing well. I expect Jossman to win. I'm not surprised. I mean, if Jossman doesn't win, I'd be I, I'm kind of surprised. I'd be kind of surprised. So okay, they changed the scene. There we go. All right. Uh, Magnus plays first. Magnus's match is first. My match is the second. When it says minus eight, well, it's just because it's counting down. I can obviously edit it um, to say this, but it's all the same. So if you don't have the minus part, it doesn't count down. It only counts up. That's why. Uh, Pravian is better here. H4. There's going to be some G3 somewhere. Knight D4. Minlay in, in real trouble here. Real trouble. Um, but maybe it's okay. Oh, Pravian forgot that. Oh! Oh, Pravian! Oh my god, he forgot. Oh my god, Pravian forgot about the Queen takes F7 move. Oh, brutal. Oh. Pravian forgot that Queen takes F7 existed. He he went from winning to losing. Yeah, now he's talking to himself too. Like everybody's talking to themselves at some point. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't blame Pravian for tilting, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late. Yeah, exactly. As a, it's a pretty perfect song, isn't it? Who do you want? Do you want to see a chess match between Elon and Zuckerberg? Not really, but I assume Zuckerberg would crush Elon if they actually played chess. Um, 
I mean, you're almost talking to yourself all day long, too. Ha, 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 ha. True. I like H4 from Provian. Very aggressive move. It's always easier, as I said, when you're the one attacking. Like, Rook H4, Rook H... Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet Jesus. It takes Queen F7 as mate. Oh, Rook H7 is a sweet, sweet move. Oh, Rook H7 is beautiful. What a move by Provion. Ouch. Yeah, you can just take. Take, or wait, no. Queen F, there's still Knight H7 at the end. Yeah, that's probably, apparently that was a mistake. I don't know why. Oh, because now you get Knight E6. Queen F4 to hold the square. Provian needs to be careful here. Or Queen G3. He's got to move. Uh, by the way, they're both twirling their hair, which is kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. They're both like twir <laughs> twirling their hair. <laughs> oh, Provian gets the dub. Probably gets a big dub. Yep. Six and a half, five and a half. It's better than twirling a mustache. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, it's in sync too, which is even better. Yeah. It's, it's like they're literally in sync. Yeah. It's pretty funny to see. Let me, let me adjust the uh, the board of the scene just a little bit so you can see the top. There we go. And there we go. All right. Pretty funny, though. Pretty funny stuff. Okay. Uh, you got to win by two points, though. So there's still a long way to go in this match. Yeah, long way to go. I'm not rooting for anybody. Um, but, I, but I would say that I think that based on his result yesterday, Min Le, it would be a kind of a tragedy to see him lose here to... Uh, province so the, yes they can see the camps they're looking but um if, if they're looking jose is up eight four so jose is going to win his match very soon this match is really the match to watch uh 353 left you see the timer counting down the timer's counting down here yeah the timer's counting down but yeah, in Bullet, it's hard to look at. You don't have the same time. Like in Blitz, you can quite easily do that in the Zoom call. But in Bullet, very hard to. Yeah, this this match is going to be a barn burner. This, this is going to be six and a half, six and a half. This will be a big barn burner. Yeah, this is the, this is the match that's going to be a, a barn burner. Six and a half all. I mean, I think both players are nervous here. Great match, though. Great match. Yeah. I play uh, Daniel Naroditsky. Magnus and Ollie Reza play next at 140. Minlay probably going to lose this game, by the way. There's like H6 or GH7. Yeah, Rook G1, I like it. H6 of... Hard position to play here for black. I mean, Provin is playing a very aggressive, uh, very aggressive position here. Like 94, go after the pawn. And 90, well, but now 94, there's Rook D4. So made a mistake. Yeah. This match is going to overtime for sure. Well, maybe not for sure. There's still this game. Um, if this game is a draw, we're going to overtime for sure. If this game is decisive, we could have overtime. Very, I, this game is looking like a draw to me. A5? Oh, wait, no, that is Rook H1. You got to be careful. Province got to move. A5. This should be a draw. A6. A7. Oh no, he blundered. Oh no, King. Oh no, Minlay blundered. Minlay's gonna lose. Oh no. Oh no, Minlay's gonna lose. His king is completely wide open here. 
Oh, he's gonna lose this game. Queen d8, eight or rook d7, rook f, rook d6. Okay, Minlay cannot lose the final game. Final game coming up. Final game in the bullet portion. If if Minlay Minlay has to draw or win. If he loses, he is eliminated. This is it, you guys. This is this is the, this is the big game. Uh, probably just blundered a pawn in the opening for no reason, though. Easier position to play for Pravian. That's the one. Pro I think this is likely going to be a draw. By the way, I think this is going to be a draw, and we're going to have we're going to have a sun death dodgeball. Uh oh, Pravian blunders Bishop C five. Pravian just blundered bigly. Pravian just blundered bigly here. Yeah. Okay, the, we're going to overtime for sure. We're going to overtime. This is going to be a tied match. So I'm going to use Russian very quickly. This is going to overtime. all right okay game was a draw right there was a stalemate i didn't see the stalemate but apparently it was a draw probably forced the stalemate okay i can pull it up um archive let me see um drop stone right let me pull it up very quickly let's pull up the game very very quickly Oh my he took oh my god I yeah yeah big big blow okay okay back to the game Provian is winning here by the way so Provian wins this game is GG why not let's see if, if he'll win or not hmm Strong move. I'm gonna use some sushi. Mm. You trade rook c3. Ah, uh, Minlay is gonna lose. Kind of sad for Minlay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, poor Minlay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Maybe Eric California, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. Sag is right. No, no, the, the match is over. The match, the match is over. <laughs> the match is over. Why are they playing more? I don't think people realize, I don't think they realize or something. It's over. Mm-hmm. 